Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about what pragma once means in C++. So usually when you have a file that includes another file and you don't want to include it multiple times because another file is including the other file, you would use the pragma once to make sure that it only gets include once and nothing gets redefined multiple times. Okay, so concretely, we'll talk about what that means. So let's make a new file and then we're going to call this um, zoo.hpp and then I'll make another file called animal.hpp and then we'll have another file called animal.cpp so last last time we talked about the animal class with the hpp and cpp but here we're just going to have a simplified version and then we'll have another file called main.cpp okay so let's organize these four functions uh, let's see, we'll drag the animal here. And then we'll put our CPP down here. And then we'll have our zoo here. Okay, so here we have our four um, functions. Okay, so inside our, let's put our animal class real quick. So um, here we're going to use uh, include IO stream. So we're going to have our include animal.hpp. So inside we have our animal, colon, colon, animal. And then we have our std string, our name, and then our weight. And then our initializer list, pass in our name. Okay, so this is our implementation. And then inside our animal.hpp, we're gonna have include string and our class animal, animal. And we have public. So here we're gonna have our constructor animal. We have std string name and then our weight. And then our privates, we have our name, and then our weight. OK, so that should be our uh, animal class here. And then here we have, let's see, it's not static, our base. We have our m name. And then m weight, fix that. And then this should eventually update. OK, it's updated now. So this was pretty much what we had earlier, right? But now here we need a semicolon for the class. OK, and then here we have our zoo. So this is where we'll see why we need it. So let's, let's make another class here called class zoo. And then we're going to have our public and private. So zoo will have some constructor. We're not going to implement it. But let's say there's a function called add animals. And we pass in animal. And in our private, we're going to have a vector. Let's include our vector here. Or usually it should be this, okay, the right less than greater than symbol or the angle brackets. And we also have to include our animal class because we're using animal here. So here we're going to have our vector of animals, call it n m animals. And then inside our add animals, we're going to have. Um, m animals dot pushback animal. Okay, so we're gonna add our animals this way. So here notice that animal, the zoo, we're including animal, right? And this will make more sense once we have our main function. So inside our main, we're gonna have include ILStream and then 
inside our main function, we're gonna create our zoo. So zoo my zoo, and then my zoo dot zoo is not available, so we need to include it. And then we're gonna also use animal. So we have zoo dot add animals, and then we're gonna say animal. Let's use our same emoji, and then the weight is 10. Okay, so we're adding an animal this way. So because we created a zoo here, we need the zoo h zoo.hpp. We're putting an animal inside this function call, so we need the animal.hpp. So you see that um, we're including animal once here already, and then zoo is also including animal. So you can see that it's being included more than once. So to get around any sort of issues you may have, you would use the pragma once. So all you gotta do is have the pragma once keyword on the very top of your files, and then that will prevent any of your um, includes from being included multiple times and having any sort of redefinition. Okay, so hopefully that gave you a better understanding of Pragma once. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.